What do you know about gabapentin? Is it a friend or a foe? These questions might set you into a whirlwind of contemplation and wonderment. While the definitive answers to these inquiries might not be as straightforward as we could hope, today we delve into the depths of this commonly used medication. We embark on a journey to uncover truth about gabapentin, its origins, its uses and implications. Gabapentin, a name that certainly might seem like it has been plucked straight from the pages of a riveting science fiction novel. It could appear to be the moniker for a distant, unexplored planet teeming with alien life forms. One might even visualize gabapentin as an enigmatic world brimming with unusual flora and surrounded by magical shimmering rings. However, this fascinating name doesn't denote an interstellar object but signifies an incredibly prevalent drug used on our terrestrial plane. This medication finds its use in the intricate, complex, and magnificent world of medicine, a world that oscillates between hope and despair, miracles and tragedies, life, death. Gabapentin was initially developed with an aim to treat epilepsy, a neurological disorder that affects millions of people worldwide. Epilepsy a condition that can cause uncontrollable seizures and periods of unusual behavior, has been a formidable adversary for medical practitioners since antiquity. The inception of gabapentin marked a significant milestone in the combat against this debilitating disorder. This medication was designed to alleviate the distress caused by epileptic seizures, thereby transforming the lives of countless patients. However, gabapentin is not only a warrior in the fight against epilepsy, it's a versatile medication often prescribed for nerve pain, a condition that can be excruciating for those who endure it. Nerve pain, also known as neuropathic pain, is a complex chronic state that is usually accompanied by tissue injury. It can be a byproduct of conditions like diabetes, multiple sclerosis, or after nerve damage from a physical injury. Using gabapentin to treat nerve pain has ushered in a new era of pain management, offering relief to countless individuals and significantly improving their quality of life. But gabapentin is not the type to rest on its laurels. Its uses have expanded over time, and it is now also used to treat restless leg syndrome. This neurological disorder causes an irresistible urge to move one's legs, leading to sleep disruptions. Gabapentin has proven to ease the symptoms this syndrome, bringing tranquility to the sleepless nights of many patients. And if you thought that was all, it is also used to alleviate the discomfort of hot flashes, a common symptom experienced during menopause. Thus, gabapentin, a drug that bears a name that might echo the mystery and intrigue of a distant planet in a science fiction novel, is, in reality, a significant player in the world of human medicine. Originally developed to treat epilepsy, gabapentin is a medication often prescribed for nerve pain and seizures. However, its uses have expanded over time, and it is now also used to treat restless leg syndrome and hot flashes. So how does gabapentin work? It's a question that's likely been on your mind if you've ever come across this strange-sounding name. Gabapentin, an intriguing medication, has intrigued professionals in the medical community for quite some time. It's a drug somewhat shrouded in a cloud of mystery. The mechanism by which it operates is not entirely clear, which tends to spark intrigue and curiosity. Gabapentin is primarily used as an anticonvulsant and for nerve pain caused by shingles. Yet its working mechanism remains nevertheless. What we can tell you is that it has a significant impact on the brain's perception of pain. It appears to modify the way our brain responds to pain signals, which is fascinating. The brain, as we all know, is the command center of the human body. It is responsible for interpreting and reacting to everything that our senses perceive, including pain. When we experience pain, our body transmits signals to the brain through our nerves. The brain then interprets these signals and triggers the appropriate response. Enter gabapentin. This drug, according to what has been deciphered from research, essentially acts on these pain signals. It seems or soothe the nerves that are transmitting these signals to the brain. By doing so, it manages to mitigate the intensity of pain signals reaching the brain from the body. This calming effect on the nerves is an integral part of gabapentin's mechanism of action. The drug seems to have a modulatory effect on the nerves, preventing them from overreacting to pain signals. This process is likened to turning down the volume on a loudspeaker that's blaring at full volume. It helps to reduce the noise, or in this case, the pain signals that the brain is receiving. Gabapentin, therefore, plays an important role in pain management. 
Despite the lack of clarity about its precise working mechanism, it is clear that it significantly reduces the of pain experienced by individuals. This function proves crucial, especially for patients dealing with chronic pain where other methods of pain relief may prove ineffective. Gabapentin's impact on the human body and its ability to efficiently manage pain have made it a valuable tool in medicine. Its role in numbing the severity of pain signals sent to the brain is incredibly significant. It essentially calms down the nerves that are transmitting pain signals to the brain, thereby reducing the intensity of pain felt by the individual. Now let's delve into our next discussion. Foods to avoid while taking gabapentin. A prevalent misconception often leads people to believe that they must eliminate certain meals from their dietary plan while on this medication. Nonetheless, when we delve into the facts, we a surprising truth. There are no specific foods that you need to avoid while taking gabapentin. It almost sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? To provide a broader perspective, let's understand why this is the case. Most medications are associated with potential interactions with certain foods that can enhance, reduce, or alter their effects. However, gabapentin, a frequently used medication for nerve pain and seizures, doesn't fall into this category. Quite a unique medicine in this regard. That being said, it doesn't mean that you can have a free-for-all with your diet. Although there are no particular foods that will counteract the effects of gabapentin, it is still crucial to maintain a balanced diet. Eating a variety of nutrient-rich foods from all food groups can help to keep your body strong and healthy. This balance should ideally to your consumption of alcohol too. While moderate drinking might not have a significant impact on the medication's effectiveness, excessive alcohol consumption can lead to potential complications. It may heighten the side effects of gabapentin, which can range from drowsiness to more severe concerns like memory issues or even seizures. But here's where the narrative takes an unexpected turn. Gabapentin might be a godsend for a number of people. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Certain individuals may need to avoid gabapentin altogether. These groups notably include individuals with kidney problems, pregnant women, and those with a history of substance abuse. Now, why is this? You may wonder. Each of these groups presents unique physiological conditions that may interact negatively with gabapentin. For instance, the drug can accumulate in the system of individuals with problems, potentially leading to toxicity. Similarly, it may pose risks for the developing fetus in pregnant women. However, regardless of these concerns, it's always paramount to discuss your medical history with your healthcare provider before starting any new medication. They're best equipped to guide you on whether gabapentin is the right choice based on your unique health profile. This ensures that the benefits you reap from the medication far outweigh any potential risks involved. A common misconception about gabapentin is that it's an opioid or narcotic. This is not true. Gabapentin is not an opioid, it's an anticonvulsant. However, it does have potential for misuse and should always be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. To summarize, gabapentin is a medication used to treat epilepsy, nerve pain, restless leg syndrome, and hot flashes. It works by calming down the nerves that transmit pain signals to the brain. While there are no specific foods to avoid while taking gabapentin, it's recommended to maintain a balanced diet and moderate alcohol consumption. It's not suitable for everyone, particularly those with kidney problems, pregnant women, and individuals with a history of substance abuse. Gabapentin is not an opioid, but it does have potential for misuse. So there you have it, gabapentin, a versatile medication with a wide range of uses and a few misconceptions. But remember, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new medication. Stay informed, stay healthy.